Well, the November ballot is set, so let the campaigning begin. Senator John Tester joins us live in studio this morning. Senator, tell me, how do you feel heading into these next 151 days? The countdown is on. The countdown <laughs> is on. I feel very, very good. I mean, I think the differences between myself and uh, Commissioner Rosendale are stark. Um, he's a Commissioner of Insurances for the state of Montana, an East Coast developer who recently moved to this state. I'm a third generation Montana farmer who's been involved in making the state a better place for a number of decades now. And so uh, it'll, be, it'll be a good comparison on who we are and what we stand for and what we value. And uh, Montana is the greatest state and the greatest country in the world. And uh, we need to keep it that way. And it's gonna take somebody back in Washington, D.C. that's willing to fight for those kind of things to keep it the greatest state in the greatest country in the world. Well, on Tuesday night, Rosendale um, gave a speech and he said that you've become part of the corrupt system back in Washington, D.C. and you're hanging out with lobbyists and the elitists and uh, that you bought a home in Washington and that you live there now. I wanted to give you a chance to react to that and respond to that. Well, I spent half my time in the state of Montana. My wife and I still operate our family farm. It's really tough to spend a lot of time in Washington, D.C. under the best of circumstances because the weather isn't the best back there. But the fact is, is we have work to do and we do our work in Washington, D.C. Holding folks accountable, making sure VA has what they need, making sure our public lands are taken care of and those kind of issues. I think if you take a look at, at what uh, Commissioner Rosendale has done, I mean, I mean, he's taken trips all over the country on the lobbyist dime. He absolutely is somebody who doesn't understand Montana values. Look, the bottom line is, Victoria, I think we'll, we'll get through this campaign. I think Montanans are going to know what the differences are between Matt Rosendale and myself. And look, he's, he will try to categorize me as something I'm not, because uh, I said in the past, I don't think they can beat the John Testers as a third generation farmer that has served Montana well for the last 10 years. Well, the next few months will definitely be intense. And I wanted to finish off by asking you, uh, you were in the national spotlight early last month, yeah. uh, President Trump tweeting about you, talking about you. Do you feel that anything he said will have a negative impact on your campaign? Well, look, I, I take our responsibility to take care of our veterans very, very strongly. And I think that we need to have the very best person on the top of the VA, the secretary. Uh, my job is to vet that person out. We did our job. Uh, President Trump didn't like it. But nonetheless, um, we need a good person at the head of the VA. I think there's a good person that's nominated now. Um, up to this point, we're not done vetting him yet. I think he, he will do a good job. So I look forward to doing that. As far as uh, the president coming to the state of Montana, there's plenty of things for the president to see, and I welcome him here. I mean, see some VA clinics, see the challenges on the northern border, see some of our infrastructure challenges in this state. I think it could help us in the long run, so I welcome him to the state. Well, we welcome you back here into the studio. I'm sure we'll see you a few times over the next few months. Um, so That'd be my guess. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs>